All right, just doing a sh very, very short test stream. Um, just wanted to see if I could actually get my PlayStation Vita slash PlayStation Television uh, to work, and it seems to be. Ah. So I'm actually happy about that. Might start a little game of Chrono Cross here. Because it has such wonderful music. And actually, Chrono Cross might be the game I jumped to after I finished Tales of Zillia. I just wanted to do a quick test stream, and it looks like stuff's coming through well. Uh. Yep, chat's popping up. I don't know why it has... I think the, re the only reason it has a space is ours, because it's fitting my screen TV. That's why there's the appears to be the black bars on the side, but really I'm just cap- I'm- my screen capture- or my game capture is capturing everything. There's a way in the settings. Hold on, settings. Wait, what? Let's try to download. What is downloading? Little big plant. Oh. Huh. That's all stuff that's going in the background when it's really. Oh! So I gotta hold circle to that stuff. Okay. Yeah, it's just. Like I just showed, it's just. Um... Yeah, it's just how the stuff shows, like. For this part, it shows everything full, um, and I got a bunch of different games. I still need to download a bunch more to my um, 64 gigabyte mic or micro SD card. That's one thing PlayStation screwed up on royally. Anyways. Wait, what? Vibration on. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna keep the default names for the characters. And basically just get to the... I'm only gonna play long enough to get to the first save point, which I believe, if I remember correctly, is... Um, the first save point is actually on the world map, so I'm not going to play too, too much. And I have played this game before. I've beaten it a couple different times. Not to get every single ending, because that would take a long time. <laughs> but 
But I know there's speedrunners that can beat this game in like eight or nine hours. <laughs> yeah. I may know the game and I've beaten it, but I don't know it well enough to do all the strats for for it. Corcho, what is it, Serge? Just you wait links today, you gotta get is today's gonna be the day of reckoning. Say your prayers, not the D any good. Okay kids, but psycho. Serge. Let's go, my si the silent protagonist. Alright, so we will start by going over here. Wait, what? Oh, that's how it's configured. No, that's not what I want to do. Um, oh. Battlefield, battlefield, battlefield. Oh, okay. So I literally gotta use, I can't use the joysticks in this one for the controller, I have to use the touchpad. Okay. I mean, the. Oh, these controllers are so wonky, it's so weird. It'll take some getting used to. But this game originally was made on the PlayStation 1, then it got ported uh, to be able to be played on the PS3, the PSP, and the Vita. So close, yet yeah, so far. <laughs> he uses a freaking fishing rod. Wait. Let's do the headbutt. You know, boom! That would hurt. The only thing I don't know is if I saved this, it would it also count as a save on my PS3. For whatever, for whatever reason, they never ported these over. 
Hey, thank you for the follow on D-Live, Vladimir. Thank you for the follow. No, go away. Go away. Go away, bat thing. Anyways, thank you for the follow, Vlad, on D-Live. I'm streaming on Twitch and D-Live at the same time. Actually, graphics have smoothed out a little bit. But this is an old game to begin with. Like I said, not, this is a test stream. I'm not doing it for very long. I'll get to my first save point. Because I don't want to stream too, too many different games. Because I end up playing like 40, 50 different games. Or, even if, if I start playing multiple games, I'll never finish any of them. <laughs> and I have a goal to beat 12 games this year. But like I said, this is just my first stream going with my uh, PlayStation television, seeing how it works out. It actually, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Whoa! Long way down. Stay on your toes. All right, let's continue going forward. Well, when you get used to using joysticks on the PS3 and PS4 controller, and then plugging it into the PS4 controller into the PlayStation television, and for certain games, you can't use the joysticks. You have to use a joy pad. <laughs> dun dun. Dun 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 Good morning, Serge. Do 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 do. Yeah, I'm not looking to get too much in this game, cause I actually really like this game. But I want to wait to actually fully enjoy it till I'm done with Tales Zillia 2. I'm again, this is just a test stream. Probably will be no more than like 20 minutes, but at least I can see the way the setup and stuff is, it works, and that's what I'm happy with. Get, you finally up. Sun's already reached high noon. It's high noon. By the way, didn't you have plans to meet Lena this morning? Lena came by to see if you were up, but you, young man, are still off in Neverland. Or Never Neverland. You shouldn't break promises like that. Girls can be pretty scary if you make them angry.
Get out of the way, Ma. Do do do. So like I said, I wasn't going to make this long stream, but I'm at the world map. So let's go ahead and save, and with that, I'm going to call it a stream. And I'm going to, for, I can't host anybody because I don't have the partner thing on DLive yet. But on Twitch, I'm going to host uh, Fairy Cho, so if you guys have an account, on DLive, if you guys have Twitch accounts, uh, go check them out. People that are already on Twitch, make sure to go give um, my friend a, a follow and check her stuff out. She's uh, playing League, I believe. Either that or Dead by Daylight. I forget already. But she's a really cool person, so go check out Fairy Cho. Alright.